my car is wrecked. Yeah. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. I hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri, and today I'm just going to be vlogging my day. I don't have too much planned, nothing too special. I literally just have to get my nails done, and I just need to do a little bit of self care. And when I mean self care, I just need to like focus on my personal life like my house needs to be cleaned if y'all can see in the back like it's literally wow my house needs to be clean I need to get these nails done I had my nails done for my birthday they were so freaking cute but I had to pop them off because I had to braid hair because all the kids were going back to school and I'm the family braider for some reason but anyways I had to pop my nails off so today I'm going to get my nails done so that's the only thing I really have set in stone for today to do it's gonna be a regular day with me so I'm about to do my entire morning routine because I just literally woke up. So if y'all see some crust in my eyes or anything, I literally just rolled out of bed. So let's do my morning routine and get ready for my appointment. Um, so yeah, let's do it. About to go ahead and put this stuff on my face and then I don't think I want to wear any makeup today or should I? I might not even have time to do all of that. It's like 2.20. I have to be there at 2.45. Yeah, I don't have time to do all of that. Um, let me just make sure I look refreshed, refreshed and not like I just woke up, you know? Okay, so now let's get my hair together. Um... I just gotta fix these edges. I'm trying to decide if I wanna add a side edge because if y'all didn't watch my get ready with me, this might shock y'all a little bit, but these are fake edges because I did not remember to tell my um, braid girl that I wanted my edges out. So I've been having to like put fake edges on, but it's been working out for me. And so yeah, I think I'm gonna put, move my hair back, but I think I'm gonna put um, a little, side edge right here because I think I'm gonna wear my hair down today and not up so and this is the last edge that I got so I've been cutting these off of a wig and now like the whole hairline of the wig is gone so this is the last piece I got so this side is just out of luck so I'm gonna have to cover it I see that now I got a whole side burn okay I'm gonna let that set and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl these um with my little mini flat iron all right now i'm just gonna spray this and swoop. don't want to chill out so i'm gonna have to go and get some edge control i didn't want to use edge control but looks like i'm gonna have to i'm gonna go ahead and cut this and curl it yeah let me go grab some edge control and then i'll be back Okay, 
okay done with my edges now i'm just about to throw some lip gloss on dressed i just got on this crop t-shirt from cotton on this little cross necklace from forever 21 i believe and then i have on the sweatpants super cute they're supreme thank you thank you bless me but they're super cute they're from supreme um i got them from a little boutique in atlanta and then i have on these prada slides because i noticed that i don't really have any white shoes like these are like the only white shoes that i have so anytime i just have on a simple outfit i always go to throw these on and that just tells me that i need to go and get some either like little white sneakers or something like i just need something um but yeah that's the look for today i'm about to go ahead and jump in the car so i don't be late so yeah see y'all in the car hey i just pulled up on the side oh heck it was a <laughs> You're disgusting. I didn't do that. That is gross. I'm on a park. Got me closing my eye. I told you everything. Watch the black. Could have changed my mind. I was halfway there. Just put nine gallon in a sprint. So S. So many years. Give me a lot. Nigga lost me the next two weeks. Okay, so y'all, my nail tech pushed back my appointment by 15 minutes. So, um,. I'm not gonna be late anymore. I'm literally gonna be right on time. Um, I'm just leaving home and I'm gonna be there like literally right on time. So that worked out perfect. And um, I don't know what I wanna get for my nails. So I do know the shape and the length that I wanna get. I wanna get the stiletto nails again that I have for my birthday. If y'all don't know what stiletto is, it's basically like the um, sharp nails. So I wanna get that but i don't know what design i'm gonna get so i'm still thinking on what i'm gonna get something just keeps screaming matte 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 i don't know why i want matte nails right now but i don't know i'll i'll when i sit in the chair while she's you know putting on my nails and fouling them and you know getting them together i'll be thinking about the design that i want to get so um I'm not too worried. Like I said, I already know the shape and the length. And I'm so excited because I loved my nails the last time. Like literally, that was my first time getting stiletto nails for my birthday. And I think I'm hooked. Like, I think I'm hooked. I think that's the nail shape for me. I feel like it fits me so well. I got so many compliments on my nails. I normally already do get a lot of compliments on my nails, but I feel like I got more because they just stood out way more. So I like that. So um I think I'm gonna stick with this shape for a while, but I'm on the way there. I was gonna stop and get me some Starbucks, but I don't think I'm, I'm gonna make it because I'm gonna be right on time, so I'm not even gonna push it back no more. Um, so I'm just gonna go straight there, and then I'll talk to you guys when I sit in her chair. Guess what, guys? So my nail tech texted me and said that she's gonna be another 15 minute late, so I get to go and get some Starbucks. I'm so excited because I haven't had Starbucks in like, weeks and they got this new frozen um strawberry acai which is basically just the blended version of the regular one like they blended up with ice but then they put extra strawberry puree in it for extra flavor and it's so good so if y'all go to um starbucks try that because that's like the only things i've been getting so trust me okay trust me it's gonna be good so i'm in the line right now it's about two cars in front of me so i'm gonna let them move up and then we're gonna get our strawberry acai Okay, y'all. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. It's my turn. Hey, Can I get started for you today? Hi, let me have the frozen um, strawberry acai and grande. Grande frozen strawberry acai. Yes, ma'am. Can I get you anything else today? Um, that's gonna be it. Just that one drink for you. Yes. All right. Can I get a name for this order? Howard. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be five eighty nine at the window. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> so excited i hope it's good but the last time i came to this location they they made my drink pretty good so oh shit i'm going straight to the window hello yes please you have a good one okay you too thank you all right we got the strawberry acai <sighs> i'm excited i'm excited how do i get out of here 
my biggest fear is hitting a curb i've never listen this is a fun fact i have never hit a curb in my life because i'm so scared of them like i literally drive so far away from the curb but let's bust this bad boy open let's see what it's time at I'm sorry if the camera's like in an awkward position because y'all, my um, car tripod broke, so I'm using my regular tripod. I have no words. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my God, it's so hot outside, it's perfect. That's good. I didn't even think about it, but I probably should have gotten a, um, like a non-frozen drink because this is gonna melt probably within like 30 minutes of me getting my um, my nails done. So I won't have nothing to drink after that. But at least it's good. Hi right, y'all. Now I'm on the way for real, for real, and I catch up with y'all when I um finally get there I'm like it literally like poked my In your eyeball that's crazy i ain't have no run-ins with mine i was like okay this might be the nail shape and that's me. what i've been thinking until just then so this is what we gonna do they ain't focused you got all of these same colors <laughs> uh let me see let me see what color Rubbing, okay. So good. I got me some Japanese food and I got me some wings. Oh my god, I'm living the life right now. Got the key to my city, they gave me a holiday, bitch. All kind of shit. Let me pull my diamond tester out, you bitch, you kind of free. Better keep my name up out of mouth. They been trying. If it's deep, then let me know, baby, why you hiding it? About your coochie, bitch. Pigs like your pussy. We all know that cat is giving fish. When I send that head plant, that nigga know what time it is. My ex crazy about me. Better be ready to die. I done done it all. Feel like shot it low. Left her to the pain. But shit is not a joke. Say she got a pop. Imaginary smoke. Bitch, you set it up. Then put it on the floor. I done done it all. Feel like shot it low. Y'all got wings or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely gonna be like, hey, that ain't shit. Like, you know, yeah, so we changed the design because I'm going to go see Barbie. And I think I'm gonna make a Barbie video. So I want my nails to match the theme. So I did them pink. They're cute. I can't wait to go home and put my rings on. Okay, so y'all, I'm back home. But I think I'm about to leave back out because I just really don't feel like sitting in the house right now. And I just got my nails done. They look so freaking cute. Do y'all see them? They are so freaking cute. Um, but I think I'm hungry again. 
because if I don't eat now, it's like eight o'clock now. So if I don't eat now, then by the time I'm ready to eat, then everything is gonna be closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat again now or just simply get food so I can bring it back home. I feel like my lashes are making my eyes look saggy. Like they look too heavy for my eyes or something. Like something, something ain't eating. I don't know, but I'm about to, um, Zaya's about to come out the house because he's about to come with me now. And yeah, I'll let y'all know where the next destination is for right now. I don't know, but I am thirsty as fuck, so probably will get me something to drink. So y'all, I'm inside of Ross and they got these freaking Ugg boots. They're not an ugly color. I just don't like this bottom on them. They're just making them look really awkward. They kind of look like, like rain shoes or something now, but they're definitely Ugg, so. Y'all better come look at y'all local Ross and see what they got. I don't see anything else, but that's pretty impressive. I just really like to come in here and just look. Like, it's just one of my hobbies. Even if I don't get nothing, I just like to look around. They even got, look, they have babyless. They have babyless um, blow dryers in here. But I'll let you guys know if I find something else. So, yeah. Look at this little jacket, y'all. For only $27.99. Not bad. So this is all I'm gonna get. It's like this little Ed Hardy t-shirt. It's gonna be a little bit big on me, but I'm gonna tie it to make it tight and it's gonna be cute. But this is the only thing I found that I wanted. So that's what I'm getting. I think it's like $8, so that's not bad. guys it has officially turned into a weekly vlog because it is now the next day and as you guys can see i got on a bathing suit and y'all probably like girl where is you going so i have to go to this birthday party because if you guys don't know my dad owns a food truck so you know people book him for parties and you know it's just to come certain places so today I'm gonna be helping work the food truck, but you know, I just wanted to be on theme. And plus my nephew is gonna be there, so if he wanted to get into the pool, I wanted to be prepared to get in the pool with him. But I personally have no intentions of getting in the pool. Like me personally, I don't wanna get in the pool, but I am ready, you know, if it comes down to it. But I'm on the way there now. Today is a Saturday. I don't know the exact date, but I know it's a Saturday. And so yeah, y'all gonna be spending my Saturday with me. I think that's literally all that I had planned today is to go do that. Oh, and then my mom said something about going to a baseball game, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go or not yet, so we don't know. But I did a little quick little makeup, one, two, one, two. If y'all can see it, it ain't too much, but I just want it to be cute because, you know, one thing I really don't like is when I'm out and I just look crazy and then I get saw by people that know me from social media and it kind of just makes me feel like a little icky like put yourself together like you don't have to always just go everywhere bummed out like you can go places and just throw in a little bit of makeup like that's that's cool so I've been trying to challenge myself now to um kind of close to them things right but I've been trying to challenge myself to get myself together if I'm going somewhere and I know I'm going to see people so that's what I did today. Just a quick little makeup. I didn't do a full beat. It may look like it, but this is not a full beat. I just did like, I didn't even contour or nothing. I just put a little concealer on. I didn't even put foundation on. I just spot like, it's not, it looks like as much because I just pulled it together with powder and all of that, but it's really not much at all. But anyways, I gotta stop by Walmart because they need some stuff for the food truck. So I'll talk to you guys when I get inside of Walmart. So. <gasps> in Walmart y'all I literally never grocery shop so I'm in here so lost okay wait okay so we had cheese now let's see 72 pack is what they told me to get I've been missing out the walk with the mint uh, uh, I've been building all the blocks like a me Well, I'm all done here. All right, I got everything I need, y'all. Um, now I'm about to head to the food truck. It is so hot out here. Like, it is 
I gotta check the, the weather. What? It gotta be close to 100. Me and Sweetie was walking. Y'all, it is 94 degrees and it feels like 99. Woo! I know I wasn't tripping. Ugh, and the worst part about it is sitting on these leather hot ass seats. But okay, let me make it down here because I'm already late and they probably waiting on me with this stuff. So let me go. Y'all, tell me why I turn on the GPS to see how far I'm going. It's 45 minutes away. 45? 45 minutes away? Now that, they didn't tell me. And they know they didn't tell me that. Nilla soft ice cream. Hold on, FaceTime wait till I video. tell Zay this. Bruh, now nobody want to answer the phone. Oh, you know how that goes. I'm confused on why. That's why they was trying to come pick me up. But they should have said that it's 45 minutes away. That's why they kept saying... That's why I kept saying, can they just come meet us? And then they was like, are you sure you want to drive? But she said it's off of exit number one. So. That's not the good story. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But no, it ain't. It's Edge, Edge, what the fuck? Edge, Edgefield, South Carolina. So it ain't even North Augusta. This is 20 something minutes, 30 minutes down the road. 45. And then look at this. I'm in standstill traffic. Uh, they said you uh, What y'all? Look at this traffic. Like literally the traffic. The traffic is not even moving. Like this is crazy. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get there because it's literally barely moving, so Um, I guess I'll let y'all know when I when I make it there or if something else happens then I'll let y'all know Y'all I finally made it when I tell y'all it was a ride. Okay, and it was like a back street ride It wasn't no highway ride. It was a back street ride, but I'm here I gotta carry all this stuff in so I can't carry my camera So I'm gonna show you guys when I get there what the food truck and everything looks like and all of that good stuff So yeah, yeah. This is the food truck the parentals they want to act like they busy right now. They ain't busy for real. We busy. Y'all ain't busy. I work with a guy from St. Welcome to my lemonade stand. right to him. Yeah. Shut up. 
Okay. L let me zoom in. <laughs> All right, I'm finally on the way home. My lips look so dry. I need to put some lip gloss on, but finally on the way home. I got like a 30 minute drive. Um, literally, I'm driving on like a back road. It ain't nothing but trees and a road. So I just got to do this for about 30 minutes and I'll be home. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna end up doing nothing else today because I'm not going back out in the sun. I was just in the sun and the sun ain't my friend. So I think I'm gonna go home and chill. But of course, if I do something else today, I'll let you guys know. But I'm gonna be honest and tell y'all, it don't look like it, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna just keep driving, play some music. And I'll talk to y'all on the next day. Y'all, so it's the next day, and y'all will not believe what happened to me today. <sighs> so I was sleeping very much peacefully, and somebody, well, really, I heard Sweetie barking loud as hell. So I got up and I checked my phone, of course. That's just the first thing I always do. And Zay is like blowing me up. Oh my god, 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 just going crazy. So then I call him, y'all, the freaking tire on my car popped off while he was driving. So my car just basically just hit the ground, went flat on the ground, and then like one of the little panels on my car is now bent up really bad. So basically my car is wrecked, not really wrecked hard, but you know, something is definitely, like something's wrong with the body of my car now. And on top of that, I don't have no tire on my car and it's a sunday so they got the car towed to the tire place so they're gonna fix the tire for me because they don't have a choice because the man who towed the car was basically like whoever installed my tires basically hooked in my tire too tight to where the bolts on the tire broke which caused the tire to pop off because it was too tightly put in there <sighs> so anyways they don't have no choice but to fix it they're gonna fix it but i can't talk to them until tomorrow so yeah that's what my day has consisted of. Literally, I won't be going anywhere doing anything because there's no car to do anything with. So, yeah, that's my day. Car is wrecked, tires messed up, and yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do until tomorrow. There's nothing I can do until tomorrow because it's the weekend. But, this is my life, y'all. This is what be going on. Um, and now it's pouring down raining, so today will probably be a pretty much chill day. I probably won't even pick up the camera no more because it ain't nothing to do. Um, and today was supposed to be Sunday cleaning day, but honestly, I ain't even in the mood to clean no more. Listen, I, today has done enough. I feel like I didn't done enough for the day and I ain't done nothing. But, it's just been too much, too stressful for me. So, I think I might take this Sunday and just sit it out watch some Netflix, and figure out what I'm gonna do with my life tomorrow, because, yeah. But yeah, that's it for today, y'all. Weekly vlog. I can't believe something so crazy happened, but I wasn't there to vlog it, so I'm just letting y'all know what happened, but I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow when I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my car. All right, so y'all, today is a new day, and today I'm gonna try to deep clean my house um, I'm saying try because normally when I try to clean the whole house in one day, it just doesn't work out. So I'm probably just going to, I ain't going to say how much I'm going to get through. I'm going to try to get through as much as I can, but I'm going to start with downstairs because it is so messy. Like it's messy to the point where like I'm embarrassed type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I need to get my house together. Um, I used to have a cleaner, but I basically just stopped allowing her to come because I kind of just felt like she was half cleaning and I felt like if she was going to half clean, I can half clean myself. Like, what am I paying you to half clean for? You know what I mean? So, yeah, so now it's my job to clean my own house, which is fine with me. But, you know, I have to go ahead and lay out a whole slot for a whole day to get it clean. So, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my bathroom downstairs, which is the guest bathroom. This is the bathroom everybody uses, so it's very important to me that it stays clean. So... We're just gonna start with that. I'm gonna turn on some music and we're gonna get busy. I got too many hoes. I can't hang you. Like to put that shit in your nose. But I still love you. Be doing shit that nobody knows. In the streets, they be thinking you're a lady for that home. If you ain't nasty, don't ask. 
at me I've been working all day I like to run the streets in the dark out And come on, put your back out I hope that's okay I can't leave you alone No That's what I'm hours About us, about us, about us, real as they come. But you would rather be on the drugs. Okay, so the first bathroom is clean, y'all. I kind of need help, so I've never done anything to this bathroom. Like, it is so freaking tiny, so. I know I could put like a towel here. It's not much room to put like a rug or anything. Not much room to put any pictures. It's just literally a toilet and a sink. So, if y'all got any ideas of how I can make this bathroom cute, let me know. And it's also not room to put anything cute on the side of the sink either. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I'm tired of it just looking basic because it's the bathroom everyone uses. So, help me out. <laughs> I would rather hang with my dogs. So, you've been draining me out. Know that. You know that. Well, when I know that. Better kiss it before I go. If you ain't nasty, don't at me. I've been working all day. To run the streets in the dark out. To come through and blow your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. No. No. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not that I don't want you here. so good down here the floors are very clean everything is so in place nothing is out of order even the front of the house is clean the well I gotta take that trash out was they gotta take it out but the bathroom everything is nice y'all I think I did pretty good it took me probably about four three four hours to do because I just been moving slow but 
it's done but now i gotta tackle all of this stuff on the steps and upstairs but most likely it won't be today because i am tired i have drained myself out cleaning downstairs so i feel like i did my little one for the day and i'm gonna have to just i'm gonna have to just find the energy to do the rest tomorrow because i'm tired and i'm hungry so I'm about to figure out what I'm about to eat. Oh, and now I gotta update y'all about the car. So, I called the tire place this morning and I was just like, hey, you know, it's my car out there. It got towed in or whatever and I let them know what happened and then basically they was just like, they're gonna take care of everything. They're gonna fix the whole tire. Um, they call it the hub. I don't know what none of that means, but it's gonna fix it. And then um, he told me to go to a body shop because as y'all know, when the tire popped off, it made like, a part of my car break so I have to go to the body shop to get a quote that they're gonna take care of so I mean I guess that makes it better but it's still an inconvenience because that should have never happened to my car but he said that he's gonna work on it first thing tomorrow so I should have my car back tomorrow and I don't know when how or how long it's gonna take to get it fixed hopefully I can find a body shop that can get it done within a couple of days um that's just what I'm hoping and praying but if not I don't know what I'm gonna do because I really wanted to go to the Beyonce concert this weekend and I just don't want to go with no messed up car like that's just I mean I could if it's still drive but like who really want to do that you know what I mean so um yeah I don't know so I'm gonna just see when I get my car back tomorrow um what places can do it the fastest it really don't matter how much it costs because i'm not paying for it um but yeah that's the update on my car so yeah today's been pretty boring i haven't been able to go nowhere zay's at work and so i just decided to clean the house so that's pretty much it for today i don't think i'll be doing nothing else i think i'm about to just finish this movie that i was watching on netflix last night i think it's called um non-stop um it's really good but i didn't finish it because i fell asleep so i think i'm about to go ahead and finish that and then just chill out for the rest of the day and see what tomorrow brings all right so y'all i'm back it's the same day so i'm about to try to make dinner if y'all know anything about me then y'all already know that i don't know how to cook so so this is gonna be funny and I hope that it comes out right because honestly y'all I don't got nothing else to eat so I'm gonna show y'all what all I got and we're gonna start cooking I'm here literally by myself I don't got no help like literally no help so so we got some shrimp I got some alfredo sauce I got some parmesan um I got some garlic powder and a lemon now the rest of the stuff i already had so don't worry that ain't all the ingredients but this is just the stuff that i just got from the store that i know i didn't have at home so i got some fettuccine noodles so that's the noodles i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna need a little bit of olive oil maybe to cook the shrimp let's get the seasonings out i got some obey i got some blackened seasoning that might be good on here. I think I'm gonna also make some garlic butter. So, not garlic, what the hell am I talking about? I think I'm gonna also make some garlic bread. So, I'm finna look on TikTok for some tips because I honestly don't even know where to start and I'm not trying to mess this up. So let me look on TikTok for some little videos and see if I can pull something up to help me out, okay? Okay, so it says the first thing I need to do is cook my shrimp, but I got frozen shrimp, so I need to go ahead and unthaw it. So I'm about to just get a bowl, put some hot water in here and put the shrimp in there. I don't know if I'm gonna need all the shrimp though. I don't know, should I use all the shrimp? I don't think I should use all the shrimp. I don't know. You just pour some in here, I'm gonna just estimate. shrimp i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of it back in the freezer okay so i'm gonna wait till these unthaw and then i'm gonna come back okay so y'all i think the shrimp has went ahead and unthawed so now i got my pot over here and i'm gonna go ahead and put some butter they didn't have any garlic butter at target so i'm just gonna use some regular butter and then i'm gonna use some minced garlic now i'm gonna go ahead and season up my shrimp y'all Mix this up and go ahead and put it over in here. So, this is my shrimp. 
I seasoned it good. I don't know why it still look like a little white, but you know, it's seasoned good, I promise y'all. So I'ma just let that cook for a couple minutes. Then I think I'm about to go ahead and start cooking on the noodles. And I'm mixing it in with all of the seasonings and stuff from cooking my shrimp. Honestly, y'all, I think it's gonna come out good. I don't know why, but it just feel like I know what I'm doing, even though I have not cooked in probably two years. But I think it's gonna come out good. I'm about to add some Parmesan cheese in here and just let this just cook down a little bit. And I'm not gonna touch it for a while because I want the sauce to get thick like I don't want no like um, liquidy sauce. I want thick sauce, so I'm just putting a little bit of um, this Parmesan in here, and I'm gonna mix it up and let the sauce get thick. Shoot, after the noodles get done, and I just add the shrimp and the pasta back in, it's not gonna be much more to do. So I'm excited because my shrimp is yummy. Okay, it's good. It's real good. This is what it look like. So, all right, so the pasta is ready. I'm just gonna pick the noodles up, put them over. I'm gonna go ahead and make the garlic bread. Okay, let me put my bread in. It's only gonna be in there for about eight minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and then it's gonna be time to eat. Okay, y'all. This is my food. I made dinner. Let's taste it. It's good. I'm getting stuff everywhere. Let me eat my food and then I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get done. <laughs> All right, so y'all, I'm done eating. I'm about to open up this Amazon package. It's been so long since I got something from Amazon, but this is actually something that I really needed because this is something that I need to do every day and I ain't been doing it. So if I could get this thing open, hold on, let me get this open. Great. Another box. So this is the lash cleaning kit. So basically, if you guys don't know, I get lash extensions and it's very, very, very important for you to clean your lashes every day, especially if you want to have good retention, which means that you don't want your eyelashes falling out. And if you just simply just want clean lashes, you know what I'm saying? But I saw this, this really super duper cute kit on Amazon. Let me show y'all. What all, oh shit. Okay, I'm trying to hold everything inside. It match my nails so cute. It comes with this spoolie and this makeup brush and it also comes with this little headband to use or whatever. And then of course, a lash shampoo is super duper important. You cannot find this in a store. You can't find this nowhere, okay? So you gotta order it from Amazon. And this is a little water bottle to go ahead and rinse your lashes off after you wash them good. And this is why I really, really ordered this, honestly. I was just gonna order the shampoo, but I was like, I need a fan, like I need a good, hold on, I had it the wrong way. I need a good fan, like even when I leave my lash girl and I'm, I don't wanna be just waiting around at her house using her fan, like I need my own fan in my purse. So that's why I got this. It's gonna be perfect for drying up my lashes and I'm guessing this is a charger for it. And last but not least in the bag, they sent like this little package, I guess, to keep all of this stuff in. So this is probably gonna go in my bathroom, minus the fan. This is probably gonna stay in my purse. 
but I think this is the cutest thing ever and I think I only paid like $15 for this all of this stuff so and I normally pay $10 just for lash shampoo so if I pay $15 for all of this I might as well have got the package so if y'all want to buy this um if you get lash extensions or you know what I'm saying you have um semi-permanent lash extensions I'm gonna have the link down below so y'all don't have to look for it but yeah that's my little Amazon package I'm excited but I'm about to go get in the tub because I am tired I've been cleaning I've been cooking I feel like a real woman today okay so I'm about to just unwind I wish I had some little wine or champagne or something to sip on but I don't I don't got nothing in this house which is probably a good thing but um I'm about to just chill out for the rest of the night watch some movies and hopefully get my car back tomorrow I'm praying for that but it is 11 27 August 7th and yeah I feel like today was a good day what y'all think but I don't know when I'm in this vlog because it's now a Monday so should I end it right here or should I end it tomorrow I don't know so if I pick up the camera tomorrow I don't know this might be the end of this video this might not be we'll see I guess <laughs>